Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. This is one hell of a production value going on right here. I have my uh, phone sitting on top of a stack of DVDs on my bookshelf here. We're going to be doing a uh, good old unboxing. This is a Black Thursday. No, Black November. What the fuck is Black Thursday? I was just trying not to say Black Friday, but... TNA celebrates, uh, you know, the uh, month of November uh, with, with the biggest sales of the year. If you remember my black uh, November sale from last year, I said, I'm not going to buy another DVD from TNA until next year's deal. And I lived up to the, <laughs> that my promise. And uh, I saved big time. This is going to catch my uh, DVD collection up. If you look down in the description box, I posted my uh, TNA uh, DVD collection. Uh, and I put it up there. One of the big things that I said about this sale um, was that, um, honestly, with the uh, future of TNA up in the air, uh, whether uh, it looks like more than likely the Carters are trying to sell to somebody, and there are some people out there that want to buy. There's a lot of names that are rumored. And uh, if you can remember when ROH was sold uh, to Sinclair, the TV company, uh, the way that they sell their DVDs, uh, is a totally a whole lot different. DVD sales is what's probably keeping ROH um, afloat, mostly, I would think. And that's because they don't really put deals on their DVDs. At, uh, one time, I think only, I've only made one order from ROH uh, since their uh, uh, change order, and that was a buy two, get one free sale. Um, but the days of the 45 and 50% off sales are gone from ROH. And... Um, I don't think they're coming back, and we don't know what the future TNA is going to be. Uh, they might be one of somebody who just doesn't care. I mean, right now TNA doesn't even have a DVD supplier. But I've talked too long about this, so um, open this box. There's somebody on YouTube who uses a big ass knife to open up their boxes. That's because they don't have a whole lot of big much in their pants. So I'll just open the box with my hands because I'm a man. This box is um. Pretty full. We're all the way gutted to the top. We're going to be throwing out some FedEx stickers and some... Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. I think that's if I want to make a return. Uh, here's the receipt. Quantities one all the way down. So it looks like I got everything I was hoping for. They threw in some... I don't know what the fuck that is. Some five gum. Here's some more paper for you. Here's some balloons. This is the uh, the first gimmick that comes out of the box. And it's going to be the man himself. Everybody needs to have one of these. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, here we go. There he is. Red and yellow, well I guess he's red and black here, Mr. TNA himself, Hulk Hogan, huge bannerish flag, that was cheap, had to have one of those, I'm going to save that to be the last, because that's going to be pretty freaking awesome, and this will be uh, the 2012-2013 uh, DVD update for Shop TNA, we're going to start with the Joker's Wild Tournament. This is a one night only event, one of those cheap pay per views they put out. I'm pretty sure that James Storm won in this. I can pretty sure he won it now because he's got the big ass check and he's drinking a beer on the back. Um, then we have the uh, two disc set of Turning Point 2012 featuring the stars of Impact Wrestling. I always thought, honestly, by looking at that picture, that that was going to be James Storm and he was going to be joining the Senates. Look at the ponytail, look at the physique. I think it's him. But I guess it never happened. Um, what is the main event of this? Main event is a uh, uh, ladder match for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Jeff Hardy versus Austin Aries. What were the Ace and Eights doing? Uh, Rob Van Dam versus Joey Ryan. This is during his X Division run to the end. Oh, Joseph Park versus Doc. And then... Oh, number one contenders match for the world title. Bobby Roode, AJ Styles, and James Storm. Uh, this is the, if you lose the match, you don't get a title shot for a year, which jump-started the AJ Styles um, storyline. Then we have No Surrender, 2012. 
right there with all the stars of uh, TNA Wrestling. On the back, you got... Um, uh, what the fuck's going on here? Zima Ion versus Sanjay Dutt for the X Division title. Um, Bound for Glory series finale, uh, which would be... Um, who won last year? I guess that's when Jeff Hardy beat Bully Ray in the finals. I guess that was the main event. Then you also got um, TNA World Tag Team Championship. Christopher Daniels and Kazarian versus AJ and Angle. That was a good series of matches. But there's no... What the fuck's the title match? There's no title match. You serious? They didn't have the title online in here. I guess not. How fucking dumb is that? Yeah, whatever. Um, then we got uh, Genesis 2003. Austin Aries would have been the champ. Austin Aries didn't have a match. Is this the pay-per-view where he had the match against the guy from Aces and Eights? That would be uh, Nux or Mike Knox. And they had a fight. And it was debated if it was with a title or not. I don't remember. Genesis 2013 with Bully Ray on the cover. I almost bought this at uh, Bound for Glory just because I wanted Bully to sign it since he's the main featured guy on there. But I was like, I'm not going to pay $20 for something that I can buy for 5 even if I have a chance to get it signed. But it's not like I'm never going to be Bully again. I'm pretty sure I'll be going to a BFG soon. Sooner than later. I don't even know what that writing says on the wall. Uh, this is... um. Uh, triple threat elimination match for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Jeff Hardy, Bobby Roode, Austin Aries. How fitting. You put Bully Ray on the cover and he doesn't even have a match. Sting versus Doc. You gotta be kidding me. Why wouldn't you just change the cover? Bully Ray doesn't make an appearance on that show. Uh, we have Hardcore Justice 2012. This is the two disc set. Ooh, that looks awesome. Uh, and then we got um, Bobby Roode versus Austin Aries for the World Heavyweight Championship. Four-way ladder match. AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels versus Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle. That's pretty bitching right there. Boop. This is like a pretty, pretty good show. Uh, uh, Rob Van Dam versus Magnus versus The Pope versus Mr. Anderson. Fall, falls count anywhere. Kazarian versus Devon. Uh, Madison Rain versus Miss Tessmacher. Robbie E versus Bully Ray versus Jeff Hardy versus James Storm. Kenny King versus Tim Ion. Uh, then we got Final Resolution. This is 2012. This has got uh, Cowboy James Storm versus Kazarian in a match that wasn't even advertised. I believe this is the pay per view where Kazarian calls him a sheep fucker. Um. Then we have a Kenny King versus Rob Van Dam. Uh, oh, God. The team of Matt Morgan and Joey Ryan. Austin Aries versus Bully Ray. Mickey James versus Tara. Kurt Angle and Garrett Bischoff. Uh, and Wes Briscoe go up against Aces and Eights. And Bobby Roode versus Jeff Hardy. Uh, then we have Lockdown 2013. Uh, this, of course, will be where uh, Jeff Hardy and Bully Ray went for the title. Then we had the turn. Of um, uh, Bully Ray joining Ace Snates. Also have uh... Uh, oh, they have Lethal Lockdown, where um, Eric Young is the guy who gets the uh, flying headbutt off the top of the cage, and then he's never seen again forever. Uh, One night only extravaganza featuring the stars of Impact Wrestling. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Is this like the, the best of the X Division? They have an escape match, a tag team match, a singles match, ultimate X match, tag team match, no disqualification match, and the main event match. Austin Aries versus Samoa Joe in the main event. Jerry Lynn versus Rob Van Dam. Christopher Daniels and Kazarian versus Sanjay Dutt and Petey Williams. Um, looks like it could be pretty good and pretty fun. I want the one where they had the Young Bucks. It was like the tag team tournament, and the, the main event was the Young Bucks against Kazarian and uh, Kaz. Hopefully they'll release that one. That one was one that I remember. We got some more Orbitz gum. We got some more Orbitz gum. And then we got this was five bucks. It's not as cool as the uh, 
other yellow one that I have. This one's not really... It's got the film painted on there. Hulkamania. Impact Wrestling on the back. But, um... I have this one. This is like my favorite shirt. I got it in the Black November sale. Sometime around SummerSlam, I destroyed it. And I had to get another one off of eBay. So... Boom. See so yeah, how that one's like part of the shirt? Not really printed on. That's bitching. Uh, last thing was we got some of the 8x10s. All 8x10s were on sale for a buck. Why'd you seal this up, dumbass? Boom. And uh, these 8x10s all have a pretty much special meaning uh, for why I'd buy these. If you ever go to the TNA deals, they give them to you for free. Uh, but this is Doc, Luke Gallows. Um, and I always like this guy. He's got a real good story. Goes along with his art of wrestling, his story that goes along with uh, Super Domino going over there and, and wrestling Super Udi. He's a guy that I really, really wanted to meet for a good little while now. And someday when I meet him, I'll have that to sign it. Hopefully he makes a dime off that or something like that. And then uh, the hottest chicken wrestling who I wanted to meet more than anybody in the last year. I never got a chance to. We got two of her 8x10s. We got Tara Terrell. Oh, what a babe. Someday. And then last but not least, the main event. The Hulkamania weight belt. You say, why, Steve? Why? And I say, because Hulkamania is the man. Look at this. I can wear it like, uh, like Devon wore the TV title. Oh, damn. I look pretty freaking cool. Boom. I always make fun of the people that go to the shows and they bring their titles with them because it doesn't make sense. Like, maybe, like, they're going to think that, like, somebody showed up and they forgot the title. Like, oh, John Cena forgot his World Heavyweight Championship. Here, John, just wear mine. It's going to be cool. Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to start wearing the Hulkamania belt. I'm going to bring it to WrestleMania. Carry it around. What up, brother? How you doing? There you go. That's the main event. Hulkamania weight belt. They had these signed for a good little while. But, uh, I think they sold them all. I think they only did a hundred. But, uh, I don't know, dude. This looked pretty awesome. It was something I couldn't live without. It would probably be something that sits up on, uh, like a corner of my bookshelf. Like that. It is what it is. I always talk to Ravi about his title belts. So they just sort of sit there on the thing until he does the signing. He says, uh, he's actually talking me out of buying a title belt, but, um, there's that right there. The Hulkster. Look at Cena right there. Can't go wrong. Don't worry, John. I'll get an order from him soon. Peace out.